Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm Angela from artyride.co.uk and today I thought we'd do a little bit of stash busting. If like me you have a ton of washi tape but don't really know what to do with it then this video is for you. In fact I, I even found two more lots of washi tape that I didn't know I had when I'd finished recording this video. But what we're going to do is make some really nice cards using a ton of washi tape so if you made a set of five or ten cards using this method and made a nice box to go with them you could sell them or give them away as gifts or whatever you wanted so it's just a really nice way to get lovely cards three different styles that i'm going to show you using the same method so hopefully you'll be able to get something out of it anyway so without further ado let's get into it first card I'm going to show you is what I would call the normal one. It was the first one I tried. You can see I made a little bit of a boo-boo, a so I tried to cover up with the pen. It didn't really work. Well, never mind. This was just a practice. But it was made with two, well, one border die, and I cut out a piece for the top and the bottom, and the washi tape goes underneath, and it's matted onto a piece of pattern paper. The second one the embossing folder I used for this one, it was just too much. It was too much of a, a textured pattern. I should have perhaps used a different embossing folder or maybe a bit less pressure when it went through my big shot. But I mean, it looks okay. That It's a different kind of tape that I used. This one's actually my favourite. I really, really like this one. Um, I just embossed the top and the bottom parts where the, they've been cut out by the, the border die. I think that looks really nice with a nice sentiment in the middle. But I still made a little bit of a mistake because the washi tape on the left hand side didn't quite go to the edge. So perhaps if you do this, you can maybe just go off the edge a little bit and tuck the washi tape around just on the edge there. But I do think it looks nice. This is definitely my favourite with the top and bottom borders um, embossed. I, ha I have a pack of four border dies. I think they were just from Teemu. Um, I've used three of them. There's one of them that I haven't used. I'm going to use this embossing folder because it's, it's quite subtle. It's the one I used for the third card on the top and bottom as you can see there. It just gives a nice effect. Just trying to decide which ones to use. I won't use these ones because they're quite translucent, which is an effect if you like that, but I don't. Not for this card anyway. These are my Van Gogh ones, which are really, really nice. I absolutely love these. But you have to peel off the back. It's like like a sticker type washi tape. You need to peel off the back, which is perfectly fine if that, you know there's nothing wrong with that. But for quickness, I'm just going to use some normal uh, sticky washi tape. This is the black, black and white. I think this would be really good for masculine cards. It's it's really nice. This is the one I'm going to use though. Uh, these are like kind of vintage journaling type, I suppose. And um, they're really, really lovely. I haven't used these yet, but I really do like the look of them. So these are the ones that I'm going to use for my first card. The first thing we're going to do is actually cut the card for the borders and the card panel that they're going to go on. So they need to be the same width in order for the, border, um, the borders to fit top and bottom. So I'm going to cut them at four by five inches because that's my favorite card size. I'm going to use the one border die that I haven't used. It's the one with the, the scalloped edge. And when you put them on to cut them, make sure that they're both round about the same depth and the same width because we don't want them looking crooked or anything like that. If you want larger ones on the paper then cut it further down. If you want smaller ones then cut the card further up. It's entirely up to you. The further down you cut off the border, the thicker the, the less the washi tape will show in the middle. I'm going to cut out the border twice, top and bottom. I'm going to make sure to remove all of the bits from inside 
of the dye or it probably won't cut properly the second time around. Right, that's both of the border pieces cut now. And they're really nice actually, I like that scalloped edge. It's given it a nice effect. So I just need to remove these from inside the die and then we'll get on with the card. I just check to make sure the borders fit and then we'll get on with adding the washi tape to the card. You just need to add different ones in strips down the page. Don't worry if it's if it doesn't quite reach top and bottom because that's going to be covered with the border dye anyway. Add them in any order that you like, really, just so the entire face of the card is covered. Don't worry if you make a mistake and have to reposition it because it shouldn't tear your card when you lift it up. And there we have it. It may look a little bit messy now, but it's going to make all the difference once we get those border dies on. So we'll do that now. You literally just have to glue one at the top and one at the bottom, making sure it's as accurate as possible. I like to use my Kalal glue for this because it's absolutely brilliant stuff. It gives you plenty of time to get everything arranged how you want it and it does not warp the paper at all, no matter how thin it is. It's really good stuff. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's all I use for my card making. You can absolutely leave it there if you like. But I am going to put it through, gently put it through, um, an embossing folder that doesn't have too much texture on it. You're going to stamp a sentiment actually on the card. Make sure you do that before you put it through the embossing folder or it would be next to impossible to get a good stamp afterwards. I found a really nice sentiment that I want to use. Faith is being sure of what we cannot see. I think that would look really nice on it. So I'm going to stamp that first using my stamping platform and then I will put it through the embosser. So after double checking this embossing folder, I realise it's going to be too small for the card, it's not going to fit the pattern on properly. So I am going to go and look for another one that might be a bit more suitable. Wait, I found one, this one's really nice. It's not too textured, it shouldn't have any problems distracting from the pattern that's on the, the card. So I'm going to put it through under a low pressure anyway, so it shouldn't create that much of an impression just enough to give it a little bit of interest. There we go. You can barely see the pattern on the washi tape, but you can just make it out on the top and bottom borders. I just think it looks really, really nice. It's lovely. And of course, when you use an embossing folder over washi tape, it just makes it that little bit more secure as well. I think that looks really nice. I'm happy with that. At first I wasn't sure whether to mat this card topper onto a gold panel or the black one. In the end I decided on the black. I just think it would look better with the vintage style washi tape that I've used. It just so happens I had some scrap black, a large piece of scrap black cardstock. So I just cut that down a quarter of an inch larger than the panel I've just made and I matted the card topper on top of that. Once again using my Kalal glue for a really good stick. 
Here's the glue that I use. I am never without this. I have a couple of big bottles in my cupboard. I will leave a link to it in the description. It's well worth the money. I rarely use it straight out of the bottle. I have a small bottle that I put it into with a smaller tip and I have a fine tip bottle obviously for finer work for adding gems and ephemera to my cards and other projects. I'm going to make a horizontal card base now just to finish everything off nicely. If you've watched my videos you'll know that a lot of the time I am not happy with the end result but I have to admit that this card I am really happy with. I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous and like I said if you were to make a few of these as a box set you could quite easily put different sentiments on for different occasions, box them up, sell them, give them as gifts, send them to people yourself. I just think it's a really nice easy fast way to use your washi stash and to make some beautiful cards. But here are the four cards, all the same really, but all made in slightly different ways. So they all look different and I just think there's a lot you can do with these. You wouldn't have to use washi tapes, you could use strips of card, sticky strips. I'll leave a link to a video up on your right corner there to show you a way to do that. But if you wanted to make a box for your cards, if you made your cards and envelopes and you wanted to sell them, there's an online generator that gives you everything that you need to make a box. It gives you the dimensions for the box base and for the box lid and for the depth. You just input all your measurements and it just gives you everything you need. You don't even need a scoreboard if you don't want. I'll, I'll link to another video up there to show you how to do that as well. But I hope this has been helpful. I really, really, really appreciate you watching my videos. I love reading your comments. And I'm so appreciative of anyone that subscribes or likes or anything like that. I really hope this has been helpful. Whatever the reason you've watched, I am so happy that you did. And I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye now.